Hello and welcome back to Miss Red Dragon and we are doing our free play for The Hobbit. Uh, Lego The Hobbit, I should say. Alright, so now we are here. Whoa! Oh, okay, let's uh, switch on that for a second. That is a little... Okay, right, so okay, is there anything over here? Nope. Okay. I'm just making sure because I know sometimes uh these points periodically where uh I'm supposed to do something. Oh okay. It's really confusing like what am I supposed to be doing? our elf friend here. So because this is uh, the first part, uh, the design is not in this part, but it is in uh, the next part. It's been a pretty interesting day. Uh, luckily that squirrel hasn't came back since uh, yesterday. But then again, we're, uh, so, so like I said before, I'm doing these pre-recorded. And right now it is March and already we got another snowstorm. And it's kind of uh, funny that it's kind of uh, came back to this because it's like always March, April, or May, you're bound to get like one, uh, one more snowstorm, like one more major snowstorm before everything goes back to warm temperatures. It's like the Canadian way, you know? It's really funny. Um, however, I guess, uh, within saying that, uh, it, it's really interesting because of the fact that in our Canadian ways, uh, Right I'm like sitting there like, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> um, yeah, so in our Canadian ways, it, it's really funny how it's like, the weather's like that, where it's like, oh, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden, nope, got ya, bitch. Um, I find it really, um, funny that it works that way, but, uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, So some people may be wondering why I'm playing Le Lego The Hobbit, I guess, instead of like um, other games. Like I do enjoy the Lego series. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I've played uh, since Lego Star Wars One for the GameCube. Uh, it, I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, the GameCube was probably one of my most uh, favorite. Uh, pastimes. Unfortunately, um, yeah. Unfortunately, though, I did have to get uh, rid of it because it was um, not that it was bad per se, but it was just more. Um, uh, like it was just uh, dying a lot because I guess like where I lived. Um, it got damaged. It was unfortunate. I thought I already had this one though. I guess not. Huh. I thought I had that. Oh, uh, that's weird. I guess I didn't see that. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I didn't have Lego Brick Detective. You do go the same way, I just didn't realize that, uh, 
is beside me. Things like that happen where it's like you don't really realize it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, so I do, I do got a uh, fall rescue. I think that's what it's called. Fall rescue. So what fall rescue does is, uh, we're talking about the fall, I guess, um, it kind of just stops you and puts you back up instead of you know, having you fully fall. Uh, so we got that. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Do I need to hit him? Oh, that's what I wanted to think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, where's the battle? Figures. By now, I should have fixed some of the issues with. Target it. That's Oh, you can do buddy up there. Okay, so it's like a uh, mini character that you can do that one. Okay. Didn't know that was a mini character thing. I thought that was a dwarf thing, to be honest. It's like a big spot, I think. Yeah, it's right here. Okay. I'm sitting there like, huh, do I got anything? Oops. Is that everything? 
Nope. Still one more. Uh oh. Don't tell me. Is there something after? Oh. It is, but I didn't remember it. Wait, no, hold on, there's like this one tight quarter, okay. Yeah, I thought, I thought I had it, didn't have it for a second. Um. I'm sitting there like, oh, did I miss one? Did I have to go back? No. Oh, poor Gandalf. Something I didn't really like about uh, this game in particular is uh, the QTEs uh, at random times. Uh, to me it does slow down a bit of the pacing of the game. Get our yo yo, and then we are out of here. <laughs> and that's that for this level. So we. <laughs> We're going to a party! <laughs> cool thing. Okay, okay. Oh, what's this one? Giddy up staff. I didn't use that for memory. I remember when I first played it in like what 2014 or when this game came out for 360. I remember having to look up a guide because I was so confused. All right, so we're making a mystical giddy up. If you got stick. the designs and the materials, I got the forging. Blah, 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 blah. We don't need perfect fortune because Careful we can just the do it ourselves. I'm not insured. Plus I don't know if it disables the trophy or not. That's why I don't want to risk it. I know there has been like some where it's like it does. Mm. I won't ask what you're planning to use that for. I think the girl's still outside. Mm. Here. Do you stay? Finally, I can be rid of this infernal trinket and its repugnant ability. 
Away with you, foul gem. Never darken my doorway again. Ooh, and I suppose I'll be taking that staff off your hands. Handy for finding horses, don't you know? All right. Riverdale, and okay, then we're gonna get this person who's potato. Is that the fabled potato. Thank you. Had I more of them, I would boil them, mash them, and stick them in a stew. Just the one should be sufficient for making chips, though. Oh, okay, there's another question. What is that question? Is it up or down? Up, up, down, down, go. Okay. Hello again, my friend. That potato you bought me chips, made excellent really? chips. But I have this nagging feeling that something quite splendid could result were I to combine them with something fishy. Would you happen to have any fish that you could spare? I don't do mine. I really don't know. Oh, yes I do. Okay, so we got fish and chips. Yes, this is perfect. Thank you, my friend. Yes, my culinary instincts are telling me this will be quite delicious with chips. Chips and fish. It even sounds delicious. I don't know if that's a good combination to be honest. 